Hey guys, it's X Driver here at Kinetic Strain Gym. I'm going to take you through a warm or a workout today. Um, our workout today is going to be focused on running sports or running athletes. Pretty much applies to anything. It's all about keeping your core tight, learning coordination. We're going to learn some um, sprinting form, but just an isometrics. But I added in a couple of movements to the workout to burn a little calories, bring a little sweat and heat to it. So no matter who you are, you get a great workout. First, we'll start with the greatest stretch in the world, just like we have in the past videos. So, left leg all the way up, big step out to runner's lunge, twist to your left, bring that hand nice and high, look up at your hand, back down, pull your hips and toes back for hamstring stretch, step through, right foot goes down, we'll twist to the right, back down, left or right toes up. We're gonna do two more times on each side. Big step up, out, over, back. There you go. One more on this side. Right down. Stepping all the way through. Left foot down. Big twist. Back down. Lift left toes. Now right side. Last time. You're here. Good. From there, we're going down to the ground. We're going to have a little bit of shoulder prep. Even though it has sports that might not use upper body, this is going to start to prep you for some Olympic weightlifting, holding the bar over your head, keeping nice, solid shoulders. So we're down on the ground doing Y2Ws, putting thumbs up in the air, squeeze between your shoulder blades. We're doing 10 times here. So six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. After that, we're doing Y's. You can do them with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. The very last one, just sink your elbows straight down, thumbs up in the air for W's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. So now we're going to transfer over, we're going to do dead bugs. We've done them in the past warm-up. Today I want to talk about our coordination. So we go opposite arm to opposite leg. So right hand is above my head, left leg is stretched out, and we're going to switch back and forth 10 times. So 20 total on each side. You can go with me. Ten, <coughs> nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Good. So we're gonna take that motion to our feet later on for some marching and skipping, and then that becomes sprinting. Next thing we're gonna do is prep our core with the plank. Just regular plank. One minute. Ready, set, go. So we're here. Elbows are directly underneath your shoulders, back's nice and flat, no swaying your lower back, butt's not up in the air. We're going to pull through our heels and just hold it here for one minute. 45 seconds to go. Keep breathing. As you breathe out, you can squeeze your core tighter. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your quads. Big deep breath, squeeze tighter. We're halfway there. Twenty seconds to go. Fifteen. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And rest. Good job, guys. After that, we're flipping over and going to our glute bridge. So this leg can just hang out up in the air. Our right leg, we lift our toes up and drive through our heel to the ground to drive our hips up. Starting to prep our glutes all the way up, 10 times. Going with me in four, three, two, and one. Then we're gonna switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten 
Good. So that's going to be our warm up. Now we're going to get into our coordination and core work for the day. All right, guys. So now it's time to get into our circuit. We're going to get our body moving with some marching. Um, we're going to work for 30 seconds and take 10 seconds off on today's circuit. So we're going to march pretty quickly. But when we're marching, I want to think about all our core work. We're keeping our core tight. Dead bug motion, opposite arm, opposite leg. And then after that, we're going to go into plank walks. So you're down on the ground in push-up position, wide hands, close feet, and then we're going to work on coordination, put in close hands, wide feet. While we're doing this, our shoulder blade is working across our back, building up some shoulder stability while we work on our core and coordination. After that, we're going to move on to side planks here. Remember, you can always modify and go here, but I'd like to see you guys start holding up here. Hips are up, hips are straight forward, keeping that spine in a nice straight line. After that, we're gonna try and burn some calories, get some sweat going with our squats. From there, we're going to a static mountain climber, so just holding it here, holding good sprinting form. And then after that, we're flipping over and gonna be working on V-sits here, nice big chest, okay? So first thing we're gonna do is start with marching. Ready, stretch, go. So opposite arm, opposite leg. Big chest, keeping your core tight. Pump those arms so you're driving the elbows. We're not chopping here, driving here. We're not floating up here, twisting. Opposite arm, opposite leg, the whole time. Keep it going, you can add some pace to it. So we're doing one set for each station. Mountain climbers are gonna hit each side, side plank we're gonna hit each side. Good, rest. Okay, now we go down for plank walk. So get in that nice strong push-up position. You can see it here. Nice flat back, wide hands, close feet. Close hands, wide feet. Traveling across the room. Here. If you get lost in coordination, you can always restart. Ten seconds to go. Good, take a little rest. rest. Now we're on the side plank. So make sure you get that elbow planted right underneath your shoulder. We're resting here. We're gonna straighten out and put this shoulder right on top of the other one. You can rest. Start to catch your breath. Side plank's great for sprinting or running because it works on your obli obliques. Obliques here to help anti-rotational strength. Hold it up strong. Good. We'll switch sides. Rest. Really go ahead and lift up. Stack your shoulders. Move your, squeeze your glutes. Drive your hips forward. Lifting your hips high. I stack my feet. You're more than welcome to put top foot in front. Good, go ahead and rest. Time to go up to squats. Rest. Get our quads working a little bit, okay? Remember, a squat, no knees in and out. We want to keep a little bit of pressure on the outside. Knees follow your second toe, chest is up high. We're working all the way, butt down, head up. You don't have to be super fast, you can go at your own pace. If you want to get heart rate up, keep up with me. 10 seconds to go. Good. And the rest, we're going to a static mountain climber. So you're gonna bring your left knee all the way up like this. When I'm doing it, I'm not like this, okay? We don't run down here. I wanna keep my back flat, excuse my core, drive my knee up. Toes are pointed forward. Big chest, looking between your hands, not tucked like this. 
Keep your hips nice and low to the ground. 15 more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Now we go to the other side. Yeah. Okay. Hold that push up position nice and strong. Holding up. Squeeze your abs. Drive your knee into your chest. Keep that butt low. Fifteen seconds to go. Good, and rest. We're gonna flip over, hold our V set. So feet are off the ground, chest is up. Biggest thing for your low back, no let yourself slouch here. As you sit all the way up here, you can extend your knees out just a little bit, squeezing your abs. And we're holding this. 20 seconds to go, and we're gonna take a water break. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Grab quick water. Now we're warmed up, and we'll move into our second round. All right, guys. So now we're gonna start do the second round of our workout. So for the second round. Instead of doing mountain climbers, we're gonna do a wall hold. It's gonna be leaning up against the wall, just like we are down in our sprinter form down here, but we're gonna hold the um, wall up and we're gonna put our hands up on the wall. I'll show you once we get there, but otherwise we're just gonna add a little bit of intensity by adding squat or, or jumps to our squats, a little bit of power output, okay? But first, we're gonna start skipping. So same dead bug, duck bug format, as we did with the march, but I'll add a little pace. Ready, set, go, and go with me for skipping. Draw those toes up, squeeze your core, pump those arms. Remember, not out here, not coming across. We're going straight forward, straight up. Eight more seconds, add some pace, add some power. Get up nice and high. Good, rest. We're going down to our push-up position. Remember, close hands, wide feet. Wide hands, close feet. Go work on our opposite. Here. Traveling sideways. Back and forth. You don't need to take big, huge steps because then you end up going in a circle. You want to go a nice straight line. Keep your butt low, squeeze your abs, let your shoulders work. Good job. Take a little break and we're on side plank. So remember, shoulders right above your elbow. Lift your hips up, keep your straight. Couple variations, dropping down here but staying straight or spotting yourself here. Otherwise, try and push yourself. You should be feeling it right through here. Good, rest and we'll go to the other side. Eight seconds, see it set up, get comfortable. Ready, set, go. Listen up, nice and high. This hand can go wherever. Some people like it up here, here. I don't like this, pushing down, leaning on this hand. Don't cheat yourself, make your core work. That's gonna make you stronger, faster, burn more calories. Good, and rest. Now we're going to squat jumps. 
In five seconds to prep for them. Remember, good squatting form, keeping chest up. When we do squat jumps, you go now, but when we do squat jumps, we keep steady motion the whole time. Soak up your landing. No stopping, squatting, jumping. I wanna go all the way up, all the way down. 15 more seconds. Let it burn in your quads a little bit. Five seconds to go, keep your chest up. Good, and rest. All right guys, so now that we finished up our squat jumps, we're gonna move over to our wall holds. Remember, our static mountain climbers, now move over to the wall. So you're leaning on the wall, driving your knee up, holding sprinting form. Remember in greatest strips in the world at the very beginning, we punched out this back leg, we're up on our toes, driving our knee up, driving our toes up, going out getting the next step. You know, bring chest up, driving forward, pushing forward, pushing the ground away from you. Hold it up strong. Drive, drive, drive. Good, and rest. Okay, we'll go from the other side for that one, and then we're gonna finish up with V-sits before we take a water break. Ready, set. Right side drives up now, left toes push the ground away. Big chest, holding it strong. Squeeze your glute right here. Squeeze your quad, pushing the ground away. Good, and rest. And we're going back down to the ground here for V6. Big chest, knees slide out a little bit. Squeezing abs are nice and tight. Getting comfortable, we have 25 seconds left of these. Ten seconds to go. Good, and rest. And we'll get ready to go into our third round. All right guys, so we're in our third round. This is it, we're gonna work real fast, go, uh, move quickly, get our heart rate up, and add power through the entire thing. So we're starting off with those skips. Ready, set, go. Opposite arm, opposite leg, skipping, adding pace to it. Move quickly. It's the whole goal of this round. Fifteen seconds left of it, and we're going to plank blocks. Good. Down to the ground, push up position. 10 seconds rest. Now we have coordination, we're gonna move back and forth pretty quick. Keep your core tight, keep big chest. Ready? Go. Opposite arm, opposite leg, just like dead bugs. Fifteen seconds to go. Good, and rest. We're going to side planks. So we're going to hold our side plank for 20 seconds. After that, we're doing dips. So hold it up, 20 seconds. Hold it nice and strong. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and dips. Up and down here for the last ten seconds. Good, and rest. And now we're going to the other side, holding it for 20 seconds again. Nice and up, nice and high. Good. 
Ten more seconds to hold. Three, two, one, and dip. Lowering your hip, raising it. Up and down. Work on those obliques. Good. Now we're staying on the ground for mountain climbers. We're gonna do them fast paced. Moving quickly through them. Ready, set, go. So no jumping up in the air. Drive your knee up, just like that wall hold. Use your abs, moving quickly. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, one, and rest. We are our butt for B sets. Ready, set, go. Hold it up. Remember, no round in your back. Big chest, keep it up. You're halfway there, we go to squats. 10 seconds. Good, and rest. We're on our feet for our final workout. Push it hard here. Three, two, one, let's go. Steady motion, no stopping. No knee wobble, keeping chest and eyes up. Fifteen to go, you're halfway. Last ten seconds, the quads start to burn. Just push through it, you're doing good. Five seconds, three more jumps. Good. Thanks for joining me for tonight's workout.